around the country, road rage has become an epidemic. For one young woman, a minor fender bender nearly became a life-ending event. You've seen the footage. She was trying to take photos of the car that she says hit hers when suddenly the driver behind the wheel started chasing her. Cameras caught what happened next as she says she was run over three times. She lived, but her injuries are severe. And now 23-year-old Morgan Scott is speaking exclusively to our Les Trent. She's the young woman who survived a horrific road rage attack during her morning commute. Gonna give you a fist? Definitely, we're good with that. In this Inside Edition exclusive, Morgan Scott details her terrifying assault two weeks ago when she was mowed down not once, not twice, but three times. What is the extent of your injuries? I have a broken femur, so they put a rod in my leg um, during surgery. Um, both of my knees were basically split open. I have broken ribs on both sides. Uh, my neck is broken in three places. Morgan's liver is also lacerated, and she must protect her face from the sun to reduce scarring from the road rash she suffered. Before the attack, 23-year-old Morgan had a smile that could light up a room. She was on her way to her job with the city's planning zoning commission when her nightmare unfolded in Elizabeth, New Jersey. She says the driver of a silver SUV hit her car during a minor fender bender, so she took photos of the license plate. Suddenly, the SUV went into reverse and went right at her. I was able to get out of the way, but I was shocked that that's what was going on. The driver doesn't stop there. He heads right for her again. She flees across a lawn, but this time trips. What follows next is just too disturbing to show. I tried to, you know, run because I, I was like, what's going on? So let me get my shoes off because I had heels on at the time. And one of them couldn't come off all the way. Then I fell. Were you stunned? Were you in shock? I was really trying to just figure out what to do next. This guy comes at you, hits you, backs up, hits you again, then hits you again. I, you think he was trying to kill you? I do believe he was. The suspect, Vincent Jean, has been charged with attempted murder. When you think about this guy, are you, are you angry? What are your thoughts about this person who did this? I definitely think he's, he, he's a danger to society. During our interview at the Kessler Institute for Rehabilitation in New Jersey, Morgan was moved to tears. Not over the road rage attack, but she says by the outpouring from total strangers. She credits her loving family for also helping her get through the unthinkable. When it comes down to it, when it comes to my family, my friends, they're there for me and I want to be there for them. We reached out to the suspect's attorney but did not hear back. If you'd like to help Morgan, her family has set up a GoFundMe page for her medical expenses. And you can learn more about that over at InsideEdition.com. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Kol Leim La. Abanawa Yahawa Bahashim. Yahawa Shai. Bahashim. Rekak Redash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is going to be an update on a lesson that I had did called Hit, Hit and Run. And I'm pretty sure that y'all saw that lesson. And uh, this is the update. Uh, Y'all get to see the woman's face that this was done to. And, you know, her side of the story, you know. And it's something I want y'all to, to notice because I had did another lesson where uh, this, this Jake's baby mom tried to kill him, shot him at her grandmother's house, shot four times, hit him twice, once in the arm, once in the leg. And she is not being charged with attempted murder. But as soon as Jake does something to Eve like this and amongst other things jake gets charged with with attempted murder and our people don't never ever consider never ever consider that maybe they're wicked and that maybe they're doing stuff that yahweh by hashem yahweh shai does not like maybe yahweh by hashem yahweh shai is correcting them judging them 
giving them another chance to get right before he actually put them to death, man. And this is another case of you seeing the so-called black woman not being uh, 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 taking accountability of her actions. And, you know, like I said, our people, you know, man and woman, Israelite man and Israelite woman, not actually thinking like the Lord is, you know, punish me because our people will justify everything to make themselves feel correct. Like they ain't did nothing wrong and they're in the right. And, you know, the evils are waxing worse, man. So without further ado, man, let me shut the hell up and let's let this Bible talk. Because as it says in the uh, the Apocrypha, which we're going to get, these evils from the beginning was at a certain state, certain stage, but now they're getting worse and worse. So let's go ahead and get that second address, uh, chapter four. We're going to read verses 29. OK, verses 29 to 31. And it reads this. If there therefore that which is sown by not turned upside down, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. Okay, so this evil, man, it started from the beginning, man, with Adam and Eve, and now it has it has progre uh, progressed. Okay, it has grown abundantly upon the earth, man, especially with the wicked being in rulership, with the wicked being in control. Okay, it, it, it has uh, amplified so much, man. Verse 30, for the grain of evil seed have been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning, as I just spoke, and how much ungodliness, okay, and the, go the ungodliness right now here in Babylon the Great and across the four corners of the earth are just, <sighs> there's no words that can explain it, man, because it, it, like I said, it grows greater every day, man. Every second of the day, Salakia, it grows greater every second of the, day, of the day, all the ungodliness and everything that's being done. So this woman being ran over by a car is nothing compared to, to 30 minutes from now, an hour, the next day, the next week, it's only going to get worse in Babylon to Yahabah Shem Yahushai destroys this place and, and, and establish his son and his new kingdom on the earth, man. And how much ungodliness have it brought up, up onto this time? And how much shall it yet bring forth the, until the time of threshing come? Okay, and, and how much? And that's why we have to ponder these things as the next scripture is going to say. Ponder now by thyself. How great fruit of wickedness, ponder now by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed have brought forth. So look, man, as I always state in every other brother, man, it's only going to get worse, man. We haven't seen nothing, man. We're still able to go to sleep. We're still able to go to work. We're still able to eat. We're still able to walk the streets and I have no worries right now, man. OK, you're still able as a man to get your rocks off. You're still able to go out here to the club, have a drink, go shopping, go get some fast food. We haven't seen nothing yet, man. So this woman getting ran over by this vehicle, by this Jake and not even, you know, like I said, all our people, not just this woman, all our people, man, woman, children, all our people, man. Don't consider that the Lord is, you know, really giving you a second chance, man. Just by, you know, making you suffer this uh, minor affliction by still letting you live and you still don't want to progress, man. So just ponder how much how much greater the wickedness is going to increase on the earth. And to be honest with you, it's, it's going to be Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah's righteous indignation on these cave gorillas to take out two thirds of you people, to make you people suffer and to realize that you can't prosper in being wicked, man. OK, but I got a got a message for all you Israelites. Let me read this next scripture because this applies to you. St. John, chapter seven. Because like I said, our people don't consider these things, man. And I'm pretty sure this Eve was she, you know, she's a very decent looking woman, you know, and, you know, in, in the name of Yahweh, I shall claim her for the kingdom. But our people don't consider this St. John, chapter seven, verse forty nine. But this people, what people? Israel, man, the nation of Israel, man, the Hebrew Israelites, man, Yashorala. But this people who know if not the law are cursed, that's the two thirds, man. 
That's the two thirds, man. The two thirds is cursed for destruction, man, for judgment, just p being preserved for the day of punishment, man. And like I said, man, the Lord has uh, really shown mercy to this woman, man, because he could have easily she got ran over three times. Jake was literally, you know, I really can't say he wasn't. He was literally trying to take uh, uh, this woman out, man. And so was the uh, the other Eve that, that shot her uh, baby father. She was trying to take him out, man. But obviously she didn't have good aim. OK. But it's, it's the same thing on both stories, man. They was both trying to take uh, uh, this person's life and that person's life, man. But this people who know if not the law are cursed, man, that's scary, man. And that's two thirds of our people, man. Because look, the Lord is doing this right now, too, man. But like I said, uh, uh, our people still don't want to realize and recognize this, man. They don't want to have any humility. They don't want to be humble. They don't, they don't want to be sincere. They don't want to be thankful that the Lord is actually giving them a wake-up call, man. Okay? And a lot of you damn women have a, a, a cruel, a, a, a vile attitudes, man. You're very puffed up. You know, you're living in a, a pleasure-type spirit. So let's read this. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 15. Because this applies to these women, man. Because these women, you know, as long as these women got Esau, Edom, 1-800-CAVE-GORILLA-COME-SAVE-ME, they have no worries. As long as they have the government backing them up, they have no worries. As long as they have the court system backing them up, they have no worries. As long as they have benefits and uh, uh, goodies, they have no worries, man. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 15. And the mean man... OK, and women, mean men and women. Like I said, you women have a, a, a fucked up attitudes, man. I'm just going to be clear about it. So lucky for the language. You women have fucked up attitudes, man. OK, even you, some of you so-called women in the truth, man. I had a woman come on my, on my lesson, my, com my comic book tale, my live stream, live stream. So like it uh, uh, running her mouth and then came back to the lesson and left a, left a message on the comment board, man. And the mean men shall be brought low. OK, so you mean Israelites, man and woman are going to be brought low. And the mighty man shall be humble. So you you women with I got a Ph.D., I got a master's degree and you men. Oh, I got this. I got that. All all of y'all are going to be humble with the so-called self-proclaimed white man, man. And the mighty men shall be humbled and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled, man. So look, man, the Lord is going to strip you and make you bare, man. You're not going to have, you know, 911. You're not going to have social media. You're not going to have uh, that attention that you women seek, that you're eager to get, to add gasoline to your tank, man. Okay, and you men are not going to have, you know, uh, uh, you know, that, that, uh, you're not just going to have anything, man. Whatever, whatever it is that, uh, red pill stuff and, Oh, I lift weights so I can beat everybody. No, I didn't. You, you can't lift a bullet when it's when it's uh, being shot out of a gun. You can't catch that. So all of you Israelites, men and women, are going to be brought low, man. Especially you women, man, because you women are on a, are on a very high pedestal, man. So let's jump here real quick. St. Matthew's chapter 24, because this is uh, uh, amplifying uh, 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 greatly, man. This is magnifying in itself. Every second of the day, St. Matthew 24, verse 12. And because iniquity, sin upon sin, shall abound, the, the love of many, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, just like that, that uh, nigga Jay-Z Jay song say, ain't no love in the heart of the city. Hey, look, man, that's the Lord showing his sense of humor, man. You got, man, look, man, when you're in this truth, man, everything is spiritual, man. The Lord has been sending his messages out through that, through that demonic hip hop. Just to mock and scoff at you niggas later on down the line. But yet you, you think it's something else. The Lord is telling you right here in this scripture. St. Matthew 24 verse 12. And because iniquity, sin upon sin, transgression upon transgression, shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. You're not going to be able to go to your neighbor, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your aunt, your cousins for help. Nah, it's every man for theyself, man. Matter of fact, the man, look, man, I'm telling you, man, it's a rat, man. And like I said, man, the Lord showed this woman mercy, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh showed this woman mercy, man. Let's read this real quick. 
Because it's, it's him that's doing everything. It's the Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai that's doing everything, man. So this is Deuteronomy 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32. And I'm going to read verse 39. See now that I, Yahweh, even I, Yahweh, am he. And there is no power with me. I, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, kill. And I, Yahweh, make alive. I, Yahweh, wound. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai wounded this woman, man. Go, man, go back to the beginning of the video when she was talking about her injuries, man. Hey, man, the Lord jacked her up, man. She can't even move her neck. Matter of fact, she can't even have her daggone face in the sun. Like I said, she's a decent looking Israelite, man. Shit, I claim her for me in the kingdom. I ain't got no problem with it. Because we all, our people are sick right now, man. And the only the only thing that can heal our people is Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. But go back to the beginning of the video, man, and listen to all her injuries, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai fucked this woman up. Salakia for the language, but I gotta just make it clear. I wound and I heal, and he's gonna heal her, man. Obviously. Because if he wasn't, he would just take her out. So obviously he's gonna heal her, but, but she, mo she may never ever be the same again, man. Never ever be the same again, man. Uh, like I said again, go back to the beginning of the video and listen to her injuries, man. The Lord jacked her up, man. I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Can't nobody deliver you out of your heart by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's hands when he got you, man, or when he wants you, man. And that's why I always say it's better off to be on the right-hand side than on, than on the side of judgment, from committing wickedness, from being hard-headed, stiff-necked, man. Acting like you got the answers, man. Why is that? Why is that? Because we're talking about this woman right now that got hit by this car, Okay. But I'm trying to keep it as balanced as I can, but I'm going to tell you why it is, man. Because a lot of our women live like this right here, man. Because Esau, Edom has given them so much uh, 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 privileges, uh, goodies, benefits, all that for them to live like this, man. So this is 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 6. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. And the so-called white man has given our woman this advantage to live like this, man. Okay, gives them, you know, uh, 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 these degrees, these uh, government assistance programs, all types of stuff, man, to make sure that, you know, to, to, to lock they, our, 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 our men up, you know, our, our Hebrew Israelite men, to, you know, to belittle our, 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 the men of our nation, uplift the women of our nation, put women in, in leader, leader uh, role positions in the court system. You know, police officers, DEA, FBI, CIA, all types of stuff, man. Judges. Okay, you got them in uh, the Title 4D, which is child support. You know, uh, uh, getting uh, the, 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 the men of their nation put on child support, put in jail, etc., man. So our women have no worries, man, because they have Esau to back them up. Okay, Esau is a uh, 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 wingman, and they're Esau's bulldog, man. Okay, but you know, all that wickedness, man, you're going to die with your enemy, man. Point blank, period, man. It's a lot here. My tune just stopped. <clears throat> there we go. All right, well, let's continue. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's go to um, let's go to Ecclesiastic. It's also known as Sirach, chapter 3. I got a few more that I want to hit, then we're going to close it on out. All right, so this is... Uh, Sirach chapter 3, verse 28. In the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. And like I said, man, our women are very proud because Esau Edom has uh, put our women on a pedestal and give them all these uh, privileges, uh, benefits, etc., man. So our women, our women walk around proud as hell, half naked, see-through clothes, all types of stuff, man. You know, dirty, nasty mouths, jacked up attitudes, you know, never want to take accountability for anything. Never want to acknowledge that they did anything wrong, anything, man. In the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. So this was a punishment for this woman, man. But as you can see, she in this interview, she didn't say, well, you know, I thank God that he saved me. And, you know, I need to examine my life and, and you know, really, you know, sit back and think if I'm doing anything wrong. None, none of that was said. None of that was said. It was like, well, you know, I he did this to me. He did that. And God was not in the equation. Oh, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord. for None, none of that was said, man. Okay? In the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy. 
for the plant of wickedness have taken root in them. And the, and the plant of wickedness has, has daggone sure take root in our women, man. Because our women are attracted, well, Salakia, so like all women actually are attracted to power, man. Okay? But especially our women in this matter because, you know, we, we was all in, 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 in hardcore bondage. But what did, they, what did they do with that Jim Crow uh, law stuff? They put the woman above us. They made the woman the, the leader of the household. So once the woman's uh, got a, a whiff of that rulership, of, of, being, of being put above the man, they ran with it, man. And didn't really consider that it was a, a, a wicked plot against your own nation. Okay, but let's go here real quick. I got two more that we're going to close out. And like I said, man, our people always want to justify and attempt to justify their unrighteous, wicked deeds and never sit back and say, well, you know, I need to check myself. I know I'm doing this wrong. I know I'm doing that wrong. They never consider nothing, man. They they, they attempt to justify themselves uh, uh, amongst men and before the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So this is Luke chapter 16. And let's go to verse 15. I got two scriptures on this, as a matter of fact. Luke 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, this is Yahweh Shai speaking too, man. And Yahweh Shai is saying this right now to all you Israelites, man, that had this mentality. Okay, they had this mindset. And he said unto them, ye are them which justify yourselves before men. Because like I said, she didn't never say, well, I thank God, you know, that he saved me, that he, that he didn't, you know, put me to death and this and that. Or I need to examine myself. Or maybe maybe I'm doing something the Lord doesn't like, and I know the Lord is controlling everything. He put me through this punishment. None of that was said, man. Only thing that said, well, that dude was crazy. He's nuts. All right, blah blah blah. This and that. That's all that was said, man. Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but the Most High knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the Most High. And these women, especially you. Israelite women, especially the women of the tribe of Judah, man, you women are exalted above the men, the men, especially the, the men of your nation and here in Babylon, man. Look, 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 look what Jim Crow Joe has, has done, man. OK, look what Jim Crow Joe has done. And look what the look what these Edomites do, man. Everything's done for a reason, man. And, and, and with them doing this, it's, a, it's an abomination in the sight of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, because you, you you don't you don't need a man. Go get your degree. Go get your master's. You can start your own business. We got this uh, government assistance program that can help you and guide you along the way. You all you need is us. You don't need nobody else. You don't need that nigger. You don't need that wetback. You don't need that savage. Okay, so you put these women on the pedestal. You you, you really change the order that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah set up, and that's an abomination to him, man. And and, and especially you 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 plant that that seed of wickedness in, in the nation of the Israelites to keep us at the bottom, to keep us destroyed, and to keep us sinning against our power so you can stay on top, man. Well, guess what? You, you, you didn't count on the elect. So let's close out here. The point is made. This is Job chapter 9 because I, you, you have to point these things out and you have to see these things through the Spirit because, shit, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Even, even when I was in the world, man, I always thank the Lord for seeing the day Thank the Lord for letting me eat. Thanking the Lord for getting me out of certain situations. I just didn't know the truth. I didn't know. I didn't know the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. But I always thank the Lord for everything that was given to me, man. Even when I was in the world when I was wicked, man. But you can see our people. There's there's no fear of the Lord. There's no knowledge, no reverence, no nothing of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So this is Job nine chapter. So like a Job chapter nine verse twenty four. If I justify myself. Which, which our people do constantly, even in judgment, and, 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 and especially when they survive. If I justify myself, mine own mouth shall condemn me. If I say I am perfect, it shall also prove me perverse. And I brought this out because this is a perfect scripture to describe these two-third Babylonian Hebrew Israelite women, man. They believe they're perfect. They believe they're justified in themselves, but their own mouths condemn them. All you have to do, don't even argue with a woman. Just let her run her mouth. Her own mouth will condemn her, man. Okay? And prove her perverse, man. But they all, they always feel like they're perfect, they're right, and they're justified in every action and every uh, attribute and characteristics that they have and everything that they do, man. Okay? If I justify myself, mine own mouth shall condemn me. If I say I am perfect, 
it shall also prove me perverse. Because all these women say they perfect, man. Okay, even a woman that's overweight, need to hit the gym, she says she's perfect. She says she attends, she can get any man she want. And that just shows you how delusional these damn women are, man. So we're going to leave it right there, man. Lord willing, I hope and I pray that this is edifying to the hopeful elect. And this also to my beloved Aquaf, uh, uh build you up more from this lesson, man. So with that, I'm just going to say Shabbat Shalom.